हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज 21.3 एक्सरसाइज सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस एक्सरसाइज सो वॉच दिस वीडियो केयरफुली सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द फर्स्ट सम वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम बिकॉज ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट्स इन दिस एक्सरसाइज आर रिलेटेड टू द पैरलोग्राम सो दैट इज वाई वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द एरिया ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम ओके नाउ यू कैन सी हेयर ए बी सी डी इज़ ए पैरलोग्राम इन दिस पैरलोग्राम यू कैन सी दिस साइड ए बी इज़ पैरल टू साइड डी सी एंड दिस बी सी साइड इज़ पैरल टू दिस साइड ए डी सो दैट इज़ वाइट इज कॉल पैरलोग्राम इन ए पैरलोग्राम ओपोजिट साइड्स आर ऑलवेज पैरल एंड यू कैन सी दिस डी ई ऑल्सो हेयर दिस डी ई इज़ ए प्रपेंडिकुलर एंड दिस प्रपेंडिकुलर इज ड्रॉन ऑन दिस साइड ए बी यू कैन सी दिस दिस प्रपेंडिकुलर डी ई इज़ ड्रॉन ऑन दिस साइड ए बी एंड दिस प्रपेंडिकुलर इज कॉल्ड height of the parallelogram and on which side this perpendicular is drawn is called the base so in this case you can see ab is the base of the parallelogram and this de is the height of the parallelogram and now you can see what is the formula of area of parallelogram this is also very simple when we are finding the area of the parallelogram that time we have to apply this formula area of parallelogram is equal to base into height generally when we are multiplying the base i as i already explained you on which side the perpendicular is drawn is called the base so when we are multiplying this base with this height de means base ab and height de when we are multiplying these two values that time we can find out the by multiplying of base and height we can find out the area of the parallelogram so it is very simple area of parallelogram is equal to base into height or we can also write it as ab base ab multiply with this height d so this is a very simple formula i hope this is clear to you okay now we are going to start its first sum okay first of all in this first sum we have to first of all see the statement okay see this statement carefully and then we will see that what we have to find in this sum okay now you can see the statement if the area of a parallelogram is 384 cm square and the height of the parallelogram is 2 by 3 2 by 3 of its base then find the height of the parallelogram and the base okay first of all see this statement carefully in this statement the area of the parallelogram is given to us and a condition is given to us that is the condition between the height and the base of the parallelogram you can see the height of the parallelogram is 2 by 3 of its base so we can start the sum from here and you can see also this diagram i had drawn here this is only a rough sketch so with the help of this diagram i will explain to you that what is written in the statement and what we have to find out okay now first of all see the height of the parallelogram is 2 by 3 of its base so means first of all we have to assume the value of the base and from the base we can start the value we can choose the value of the height also because of the height the value of the height is depends upon the value of the base because of the condition you can see here the height of the parallelogram is 2 by 3 of its base okay now you can see let its base ab is equal to x so you can see here ab base is equal to x and then of course de is the height of this parallelogram and you can see then de is equal to 2 by 3 of its base why because of it is given that the height is 2 by 3 of base so that is why de is equal to 2 by 3 of base means 2 by 3 multiplied by base and base is ab you can see here base is ab and now put the value of this ab here that is x it means it is 2 multiplied by x over 3 then it will become 2x over 3 so by doing this way we can take the starting values of the base and also the value of the height means the value of ab and the value of d and the area is already given that is 384 cm square okay now we have to apply the formula that is base into height is equal to area and now you can see base is ab and height is d that is equal to area area is 384 okay now put the values here the value of ab is x as we had just assumed now and the value of de that is 2x over 3 we have to put the values in the formula and it is equal to area that is 384 and now you can multiply this 2x with x it will become 2x square over 3 is equal to 384 
and now we have to rearrange the terms 3 is gone 3 is taken here on the another side it will become into the multiplication and this 2 will go into the denominator so it will become x square is equal to 384 multiplied by 3 over 2 so here you can see after doing little calculation it will become x square is equal to 192 multiplied by 3 then x square is equal to 576 and now we have to take this square on the another side when we are taking this square on the another side that time this square becomes square root so it will become x is equal to 576 square root and now we have to find out the square root of this 576 so it will become x is equal to 24 so this is the value of the x so now you can see as we had assumed the value of ab is x now the value of x is 24 centimeters it means the value of this ab the value of this base is equal to 24 centimeter and the height that is d is equal to here you can see 2x by 3 now put the value of x here also it will become 2 by 3 into the value of x is 24 and after cancellation it will become 2 into 8 now multiply the terms 8 to the 16 centimeter so doing this way we had found out we had found the value of the height and the base also because of in this case the value of height is 16 centimeter and the value of this base ab is 24 centimeter so i hope this is clear to you okay now see the second sum in this sum again we have to understand first of all the statement the statement is two adjacent sides of the parallelogram are 24 centimeter and 32 centimeter if one of the diagonal is 40 centimeter then find the area of the parallelogram okay this sum is different from the first sum why because of in the first sum the base and the height was given to us and that time we had applied the formula but in this case we cannot apply any formula because of now you can see this side ab is given to us and this bc side is given to us why this bc because of two adjacent sides of course this if we are taking ab side then this bc is also an adjacent side and this ad is also an adjacent side but one time we can suppose only a one side and you can see this ab and this bc we are taking now this time ab as 24 centimeter then its adjacent side is bc that is 32 centimeter and one diagonal is given to us means the one diagonal means this ac and the length of this ac is 40 centimeter is given to us so this time not any base and height is given to us so it means we cannot apply the formula which we had applied in the first sum okay now what we have to do now how we can solve this sum so see how we can solve this one also so first of all you can see this is a parallelogram and this ac is a diagonal and when we are drawing a diagonal then this diagonal divides this parallelogram into two equal parts means the area of this abc triangle is equal to the area of this ACD so it means this time we have to find out the area of only this portion means we have to find out the area of this triangle ABC and when we find the area of this triangle that time we have to double the area and when we are doubling the area that time after double the area we can find out the area of this whole diagram means this parallelogram okay now you can see so it means we have to take only this portion this triangle a b c now you can see in triangle a b and c how we can find out the area okay dear students i had already already explained you this one in my first video in 21.1 exercise in that exercise i had explained you that how we can find out the area of those triangles whose three sides are given to us means here we have to apply the heron's formula because of this sum is now related to the area of a triangle and those students who have not seen that videos they must see the videos to understand the areas related to the triangles also okay now in this sum we have to apply the heron's formula how we can apply now you can see in this triangle abc there are three sides so we have to assign a variable a is equal to 24 and b is equal to 32 and this c is equal to 40 and now we have to find out the value of s also okay what is the meaning of s here i had already explained you this is a semi parameter so first of all we have to find out the semi parameter that is s and it is this s is equal to a plus b plus c over 2 so means put the value a is 24 b is 32 and c is 40 over 2 and add these values it will become 96 over 2 and this is it will become 48 so like this way first of all we have to find out the semi parameter 
and now we can apply the Heron's formula to find the area of this triangle ABC. Okay, now you can see area of triangle ABC is equal to under root S into S minus A, S minus B multiplied by S minus C. So all the terms are in multiplication that is why I had used here brackets. And next is put the values here S is 48 then start the bracket 48 minus A. A means this 24 then B is 48 minus B 32 48 minus this 40. And now you can see this is 48 48 minus 24 will become 24 then after subtraction it will become 16 and of course this one is also 8. And you know that how we can solve this one now. Now we have to split the terms. We have to split this six, this 48. How we can write down this 48? We can write down it as 16 into 3. And then this 24 also 8 into 3 because 8 3 is a 24. And then write down this 16 as it is and then 8 as it is. You know why? Because of we have to make the pairs in the square root. Okay, now you can see this 16 is also in a pair. So write down 16 outside of the square root and this 3 is also in pair. So write down 3 also and 8 is also in a pair. So like this way we can solve this square root. And now you can see 16 into 3 into 8. Now multiply all these terms it will become 384 centimeters square. So now you can see this is the area of this portion A, B and C. Only this much. This is the area of this portion but we have to find out the whole area means the area of this whole parallelogram as I had explained you now we have to only double this area when we are doubling this area that time we are finding the area of this parallelogram okay now the last step is you can see the last step is area of parallelogram after finding this 384 centimeter square now the area of parallelogram is ABCD is equal to 2 multiply by area of this triangle ABC means now we have to double the area of this triangle ABC and now multiply 2 into 384 and after multiplication it will become 768 centimeter so like this way we can find out the area of this sum so I hope this is clear to you it is very simple sum but in this case we have to apply the Heron's formula and after finding the area of the triangles then we have to double the area of the triangle and then we can find out the area of the parallelogram okay now before starting the third sum we have to understand the area of rhombus because of the third sum is related to the area of rhombus so how we can find out the area of the rhombus first of all you can see this a b c d is a rhombus this rhombus is also kind of parallelogram but the difference only is this in this case all the sides are equal in a rhombus you can see this a, B, B, C, C, D and D. All sides are equal in this rhombus. And one thing is also important here that is the diagonals you can see A, C and B, D. Two diagonals are there in a rhombus and these diagonals are always bisecting at an angle of 90 degree. Okay, I am using a word bisecting. Why? Because of you can see this A, C diagonal is bisecting this B, D diagonal at an angle of 90 degree and also this B, D diagonal is bisecting this A, C diagonal at an angle of 90 degree bisecting means this AC diagonal is divided into two equal parts this OA and this OC and also you can see this BD diagonal in this case this AC diagonal is bisecting this BD diagonal into two equal parts because of you can see this OD side OD length and this OB length is also equal means this BD length is divided into two equal parts so basically the only one thing is important here that is the diagonals are always bisecting at an angle of 90 degree. So this much we have to understand because of in third sum we have to apply this property also. Okay now see what is the formula of area of rhombus. So in case of rhombus the formula is first of all we have to multiply the diagonals and then we have to only find the half of the product of the diagonals means simple formula is here you can see area of rhombus is equal to half into product of diagonals means we have to multiply the diagonals and then we have to multiply it with 1 by 2 so in simple terms we can also write down it as 1 by 2 into this AC this AC diagonal and this BD diagonal so this is only the formula means 1 by 2 multiply by product of diagonals so this is the formula of area of rhombus so we have to apply only this formula in the sum okay now see the third sum 
ओके नाउ यू कैन सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्टेटमेंट एंड देन वी कैन अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला हेयर द स्टेटमेंट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द डायग्नल्स ऑफ योर हॉम्बस आर इन द रेशो फाइव रेशो फोर सो इन दिस केस द रेशो ऑफ द साइड द रेशो ऑफ द डायग्नल्स आर गिवन टू अस एंड ऑल्सो द एरिया इज गिवन दैट इज टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द साइड ऑफ द रॉम्बस मीन्स इन दिस केस वी हैव टू फाइंड द साइड ऑफ द रॉम्बस बट हेयर वी हैव टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो दैट फॉर्मूला ऑफ एरिया हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी हाउ वी कैन स्टार्ट द सम द रेशो ऑफ द डायग्नल्स आर गिवन टू अस एंड आई हैड मेड द रफ स्केच ऑल्सो यू कैन सी हेयर ए बी सी डी एंड इन दिस केस ए सी इज अ डायग्नल एंड बी डी इज अ डायग्नल and you can see the ratio of this ac and bd is given to us the ratio is ac ratio bd is equal to 5 ratio 4 so this ratio is given to us and now you can see how we can remove this sign of ratio we have to multiply both values with a single variable so we have to multiply both values with a variable x so ac will become 5 into x is 5x and then bd will become 4 into x is 4x so like this way we can start the sum by taking the values of the diagonal ac and bt and now we have to apply the formula here that is 1 by 2 multiplied by product of diagonals means 1 by 2 multiplied by this ac multiplied by this bd is equal to area area of rhombus so like this way we can apply the formula okay now see the next steps now put the value here 1 by 2 into ac is 5x and this bd is 4x so ac is 5x and bd is 4x is equal to area area is already given that is 2250 and now after cancellation it will become 10x square is equal to 2250 and now take 10 in the denominator so it will become x square is equal to 225 okay now you can see this square when we are taking on the another side then this square will become square root so here you can see this And root will be uh, this square will become square root, and now we have to find out the square root of this 225. After finding, it will become 15. So now we can find out the exact value of this AC and BD. The value of this AC is equal to 5x, means 5 multiplied by the value of x that is 15 here. 15 into 5 is 75 centimeter, and the value of this BD that was 4x, and put the value of x is here also it will become 15. So 15 into 4 is 60 centimeters. So like this way we can find out the values of the diagonals. But we have to find out the side of the rhombus now because of this is the sum. Okay, now how we can find out the side of the rhombus? First of all, you should see the diagram again. As I explained you that the length of this AC diagonal, the length of this whole diagonal, is divided into two parts. This OA and this OC means if we want to find the length of this side only the part of this diagonal oa then we have to divide this whole length ac by 2 because of this oa is the half of this ac and this od is the half of this ob why only these two sides because of we have to find the side of the rhombus here you can see there are four sides but only one side we have to find and uh, all the sides are same in the case of rhombus So in this case, I am going to find the side of value of this AD. Means the side AD. I am going to find how we can find out this one. As I explained you, now you can see only we have to take this diagram OAD. That is why I have written here in triangle OAD. Why only OAD? Because of we have to take only one part of this rhombus. This is the triangle. Not only a triangle, it is a right angle triangle. why this is the right angle triangle because you can see here is an angle of 90 degree so in this case we have to apply the pythagoras theorem and then we can find out this length ad okay now you can see how in triangle oad you can see in triangle oad how we can find out the length of oa oa is the half of this ac okay 1 by 2 into ac put the value of ac here that is 70 5 by 2 and now you can see 75 by 2 is it will become 37.5 cm and also you can see we have to find out the length of this od od is the half of this db or bd then we can write down this od is equal to half of this bd put the value of bd here this is 60 and after cancellation it will become 30
सो लाइक दिस वे आई फाउंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ओ एंड ओ डी ओके नाउ वी हैव टू अप्लाई द पाइथागोर थ्योरम एंड नाउ यू कैन सी बाय पाइथागोर थ्योरम वी नो दैट द हाईपोटीन्यूज स्क्वेयर मीन्स दिस इज़ अ हाईपोटीन्यूज दिस इज़ अ प्रपेंडिकुलर एंड दिस इज़ अ बेस सो द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द बेस एंड द प्रपेंडिकुलर इज इक्वल टू द स्क्वेयर ऑफ दिस हाईपोटीन्यूज मीन्स ए डी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ओ ए स्क्वेयर प्लस ओ डी स्क्वेयर सो दिस इज द पाइथागोर सीरम दैट वी हैव टू अप्लाई हेयर ए डी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ओ ए स्क्वेयर प्लस ओ डी स्क्वेयर सो ए डी इज इक्वल टू द वैल्यू ऑफ ओ ए इज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव रेज पार टू एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ओ डी इज थर्टी रेज पार टू एंड नाउ फाइंड आउट द स्क्वेयर रूट एंड आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द स्क्वेयर रूट इट विल बिकम्स वन थाउजेंड फोर जीरो थ्री रेज टू पावर टू विल बिकम नाइन हंड्रेड एंड आफ्टर एडिंग इट विल बिकम टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्स पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव स्क्वेयर रूट वाई दिस स्क्वेयर रूट बिकॉज ऑफ वैन वी आर टेकिंग दिस स्क्वेयर ऑन द अदर साइड दैन इट विल बिकम स्क्वेयर रूट एंड आई ऑलरेडी फाउंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस स्क्वेयर रूट इट इज़ फोर्टी एट पॉइंट जीरो टू सेंटीमीटर सो लाइक दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड आउट द साइड ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम एंड ऑल द साइड्स आर इक्वल सो दैट इज़ वाई ऑल द साइड्स आर so this is the value of the side of the rhombus so i hope this is clear to you okay now see before starting the next parts first of all here we have to understand the area of trapezium why because of all the next parts are related to the area of trapezium okay what is the trapezium you can see the diagram of this trapezium here this a b c d is a trapezium but in the case of trapezium you can see two sides are parallel two pairs of sides are parallel here you can see ab and cd are parallel and the other two pairs of sides ad and bc are non parallel you can see this ad and bc are non parallel but this ad and ab are parallel so this is called trapezium so here you can also see the same thing de perpendicular is drawn here and this de perpendicular is drawn on this side ab again this de called the height of the trapezium and on which this perpendicular is drawn is called the base of the trapezium so here how we can find out the area of the trapezium what is the formula the formula is area of trapezium is equal to half multiplied by sum of parallel sides multiplied by height means here you can see we have to add the parallel sides sum of parallel sides mean the sum of this ab and this cd at sum of parallel sides multiplied by height height is you can see here de and it multiplied with 1 by 2 so the formula is half into sum of parallel sides into height and you can also write down it as 1 by 2 multiplied by ab plus dc because of the sum of parallel sides ab plus dc multiplied by this de means this height so by doing this way we have to apply this formula and after applying this formula we can find out the area of a trapezium okay now see the fourth sum first of all we have to understand the statement again so in the fourth sum you can see find the area of the trapezium whose parallel sides are 18.7 cm and 15.7 cm and the distance between them is 4 cm okay this is very simple sum because of directly we have to apply the formula here so you can see in this diagram which informations are given to us you can see this is ab cd is a trapezium and the two parallel sides are given to us and one is 18.7 cm means this whole d this is 18.7 cm and this ab is 15.7 cm and the distance between them means the height between them the height is given to us that is 4 cm so basically all the quantities are given to us and we have to find the area of the trapezium you can see now the formula of area of trapezium is 1 by 2 plus oh sorry 1 by 2 multiplied by sum of parallel sides means 1 by 2 multiplied by sum of parallel sides means ab plus dc multiplied by the height that is a okay now you can see we have to put the values here you can see 1 by 2 multiplied by the value of this ab is 15.7 plus the value of this dc is 18.7 multiplied by this a that is 4 we have to put here and now you can see 1 by 2 multiplied by now add these two values 15.7 plus 18.7 it will become 34.4 multiplied by this 4 and now 
this 4 is divided by this 2 it will become 2 and after multiplication these two values it will become 68.8 centimeter so this is very simple sum directly we have to put the values here if the two parallel sides are given to us then the sum of these two parallel sides we have to put in the bracket and then we have to multiply this value with this height a and of course with this 1 by 2 so after calculation we can find out the area of the trapezium okay dear students the fifth sum is very similar to this part also because of in the fifth sum we have to find out the area of the trapezium again and again the two parallel sides and the height is already given to us so you have to apply this method and then you can find out the area of trapezium in the fifth sum so you have to solve the fifth sum by yourself okay now see the sixth sum first of all again we have to understand the statement that the statement is the length of one of the parallel sides of the trapezium is 80 centimeter means from means only the one parallel side is given to us and the distance between the two parallel side is 4 centimeter and of course the distance between these two parallel lines are given to us that is 4 centimeter find the length of the other side other parallel side means we have to find out the length of other parallel side if the area of the trapezium is 256 centimeter is given so it means in this case from these two parallel lines only one parallel line is given to us the height between the parallel lines is given to us and the area of the trapezium is given to us so with the help of this information we have to find out the side this this side ab means this another parallel side okay how we can find out this one first of all you can see from this rough sketch abcd is a trapezium and one parallel side this dc is given to us 80 centimeter okay why i had suppose this 80 because of it is only a rough sketch you can suppose any side means you can suppose dc or maybe you can suppose ab also because of it is only a rough sketch so i supposed this dc 80 centimeter means one parallel side is given 80 centimeter and of course the distance between two, these two parallel lines is 4 centimeter is also given to us and the area is also given so we have to find out the side this side ab means this parallel side the length of this parallel side we have to find out how we can find out again we have to apply the formula here half into sum of parallel sides multiplied by height is equal to area means 1 by 2 multiply by sum of parallel sides mean this ab plus this dc and of course the value of ab we have to find out that is why we have written it as it is and the value of this dc is 80 centimeter so put the value of this dc here 80 centimeter multiply by this a a is here you can see height is 4 centimeter and the area is 256 so put the values like this way here and now you can see this 4 is divided with this 2 so it will become ab plus 80 and multiply by this 2 and we can take this 2 because of this 2 here is in multiplication we can take it into the another side then it will go in, into the denominator so it will become now ab plus 80 is equal to 256 by 2 and now you can see the next step ab plus 80 256 is divided by 2 it will become 128 now you can see this 80 is a positive sign and when we are taking this 80 on the another side then it will become of minus sign so after subtracting 80 from 128 so it will this ab will become 48 centimeter so means this length is 48 centimeter so basically we had found the another parallel side so like this way we can find out the values so in this sum one parallel side is given the height between the two parallel side is given and the area is given and with the help of this information with the help of this formula we had find the value of this ab so i hope this is clear to you it is very easy okay now see the seven sum again in the seven sum first of all we have to understand the statement it is also very easy sum you can see here the area of the trapezium is equal to 180 centimeter square find the height of the trapezium if its parallel sides are 25 cm and 15 cm so in this case again this time the parallel sides are given to us now we have to find out this ae means the value of the height of this trapezium means the value of ae we have to find out now okay how we can find out again we can apply the same formula it is very easy you can see here 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides multiplied by height is equal to area 
now put the values in this formula it will become 1 by 2 multiply by this ab is 15 and this of course dc is 25 so put the par values of these parallel sides here and you can see this ae is the height so a is as it is because of here we have to find out the value of this a is equal to area is 180 this is already given okay now the next step is 1 by 2 multiply by now add the 15 plus 25 it will become 40 is equal to this a is equal to 180 okay now this 40 is divided with this 2 it will become 20 multiplied by a is equal to 180 now take this 20 it will become it will goes into the denominator so it will become a is equal to 180 over 20 so after division a will become 9 centimeter so like this way we had found the value of this a that is 9 centimeter means the height between these two parallel line is 9 centimeter so this is the sum i hope this sum is also clear to you okay now see the last sum this is your last sum because of only first eight parts in your syllabus in this exercise so now you can see in your eight sum first of all again we have to understand the statement the statement is if one of the parallel sides is less than the other by six centimeter means one parallel side is less than the other parallel side by six centimeter so find the two parallel sides if the area of the trapezium is 714 centimeter square and its height is seven centimeter so basically this information is given to us and how we can solve this sum so first of all see from this diagram from this diagram we can write down the given values here so you can see one side one parallel side is less than the other parallel side by six centimeter means we can suppose any one side parallel side as x centimeter because of the real values are not given to us so we have to assume we have to assign some variables so now you can see i supposed one parallel side like this dc as x centimeter so the other parallel side means if one parallel side this dc is x centimeter then the other parallel side is less than by 6 means if this value is x then this value is x minus 6 so this is basically the given information is so you can see if one side is less than by the other parallel side is 6 so with the help of this information i had written here this dc is x centimeter and the other parallel side is less than by 6 means x minus 6 so you can see here so i suppose the value here dc is x and the other side which is less than by 6 is another parallel side is ab that is x minus 6 centimeter and this height a is given that is 7 centimeter and of course the area is also given to us and now we have to apply the formula here to find the exact values you can see the formula is half into sum of parallel side this dc plus ab then multiply by this height a is equal to the area okay now you can see put the values here 1 by 2 into this side dc is x x plus this ab is x minus 6 so write down this x minus 6 is here and multiply this a with 7 is equal to area area is 714 okay now we have to rearrange the values it will become 2x minus 6 here you can see 2x minus 6 is equal to 714 this 2 will go into the numerator and this 7 into the denominator so after doing little calculation here it will become 2x minus 6 is equal to 204 it is very simple you have to solve by yourself so here you can see it will become 204 now this minus 6 when we are taking on this side it will become plus 6 so here you can see 2x is equal to 204 plus 6 and now you can see 2x is equal to 210 and we have to take the 2 into the denominator now it will become 210 by 2 so after division it will become 105 centimeter so it means the value of x in this case is 105 so basically you can see here this dc is x centimeter and the value of x is 105 centimeter and this ab is x minus 6 so put the value of x also here it will become 105 minus 6 and 105 minus 6 it will become 99 centimeter means the value of this ab is 99 centimeter and the value of this dc is 105 centimeter so like this way we can find out the values of these two parallel lines so this is the last sum it is also very easy i hope this is clear to you so okay students in this video i had explained you the exercise 21.3 and you have to solve each sum by yourself also by watching this video 
and uh, if you have any difficulty regarding any sum then you can call me also you have my contact number till then do the practice and learn mathematics thank you